Today we're presenting the round. This um, project's been delivered in collaboration between BKK Architects and Wilson Thompson Architecture. Um, been very much delivered as a collaboration from start to finish. Uh, we acknowledge the people of the Blindry Water Run on whose land this project sits. Um, the site is located in Nunawading, um, in the eastern suburbs of Melbourne, and really represents one of the largest investments in cultural infrastructure by the city of Whitehorse in its history, and I think really indicative of the change that's happened in the suburbs over the last 50 years. Box Hill is now a real urban centre, and the city of Whitehorse um, also experienced significant growth in the last 50 years, and really um, a maturing, maturing of cultural offerings associated with the rise of the suburbs. Uh, broadly, the project comprises a performing arts centre with a range of other programs, which is the building in the middle of the site, but also we delivered a master plan and precinct plan with aspect doing landscape um, for the whole precinct. So it's very much been a precinct based approach. It's not just about a building, it's about um, the way the precinct and the thinking through some of the precinct planning issues has informed the building envelope and vice versa. And really conceived as a cultural heart for the city of Whitehorse and, and, and as I said earlier, a maturing of, of, I suppose, cultural awareness and, and um, performance within the city. So the main problem that this project um, attempts to resolve is what to do with a big box program in the middle of a public park setting and how to activate and generate as much public realm amenity, if you like, from that. So the earlier building, uh, smaller, albeit, and loved, but very poor performing, loading docks and things right in the middle of the park, um, inactive and so on. Uh, this is what it looked like before. And so, so a lot of blank facades and so on. So the early initiatives of this, early sketches, was to think how can we use the building envelope, push and pull that, to make a lot more activated facades, connect outside and inside, but also use the building envelope to set up territories and public realm formation of different scales. So this idea of the Janus face building, each facade um, relates to the adjacent conditions, housing, sports fields to the east, um, the civic centre to the south, the uh, amphitheatre to the southwest, and then Young Nyuk Garden to the northwest. So picking up on all of those adjacent conditions and setting up these spaces around them. Um, so for a walk around now, one, it's a fair to say tensions in this project around the degree to which uh, certain sustainability initiatives could be pushed. It's a very car based place. It has a large catchment area, so car parking was something really had to be wrestled with. Um, a lot of in, uh, water sensitive urban design has at least gone into that. And then you can see these sorts of perimeter spaces. This is one of the lower points, also these um, garden areas through the water sensitive urban design catchment and reuse through the garden spaces to the perimeter of the building. This is on the um, southwest side walking around. It's also designed for inside, um, of course, inside use, the formal uses of the building, but everyday incidental use of people just being able to walk around and enjoy it and feeling like it's a decent place to walk through and around. So this is one of the Young Up Garden, um, something you can sit against up like a big piece of furniture. The northern aspect also bringing the back of house green room through a big window out to that as well, so feeling safe and secure. Um, back to the car parking, there was a separate car park building as well and that has been designed to at least be able to do things other than car parking. We're praying for a future and we won't be so car dependent so this also works for undercover markets uh, and you have that opening so it's uh, quite a pleasant space. So in terms of the sustainability initiatives, I think really it, it, we took a very much a precinct based approach so there's a a seven metre fall from south to north on the site. So there was significant overland water management issues. So it was an integrated water management plan that was developed. Um, there's actually a culvert that runs underneath the building. So the overland flow path runs right through just past the front door. So that was a significant challenge, but also maximising permeable areas. So um, this plan shows the tree removal. So you can see that was a, a major consideration for the community. And so we replaced um, uh, all of those trees with, with tree plantings also within the car park. So this is a strata vault system 
to catch water and be able to grow proper canopy trees. Um, there's provision for EV charging, electric vehicle, vehicle charging in the car park. It wasn't delivered in this stage because council's still grappling with how to manage it. But um, there was, the services were certainly provided for that um, detention basin. Um, so there is provision for catchment of water and, and management on site without needing to um, necessarily discharge straight into the, into the system. Um, solar lighting um, throughout the precinct and uh, there was investment in active transport so there are end of trip facilities as well. Mm -hmm. So al although we recognise um, car parking will continue to play an important role for vis visitor experience to this, there is provision for local, um, local users as well. And really the, the idea being um, there's a whole range of services that have gone in around the site. This is a heavily programmed site. Uh, in terms of the building fabric, we use the, the sort of the, um, the scallop forms that Kirsten alluded to. Um, there was a lot of work in curating openings to those and using the facade to effectively shade itself. So um, deep eaves, which are integrated with the building facade on the north, um, on the south, um, using some of these deeper eaves, but I, I think managing, trying to get natural daylight into the building as much as possible. The original building was very much hermetically sealed, so we had a, a really keen awareness on wanting to have great natural light in this building, which is often um, not necessarily characteristic of performing arts mm. centres because you want black box and black mm. blackout areas. So a lot of the, the theatre spaces have provision for daylight. Uh, there is gas in the building. Unfortunately, there's still, because there's a commercial kitchen, that was a, a requirement of the client because they weren't sure how they were going to operate it. So, but otherwise, the whole building is electric and there's provision for the commercial kitchen to be shifted to electric in the, in the future with metering it's set up to allow for that. And water storage. So, so we're collecting rainwater and reusing it in the toilets. Uh, glazing, so there, there's really a, a curated approach to the building envelope to, to sort of curate those moments where you get aspect and daylight to outside, but also um, trying to minimise glazing so it's a fairly um, efficient thermal thermal facade. And you can see here how using the use of the architecture to provide shading for some of it, this is on the southwestern corner so it gets some afternoon sun, um, and create those moments where you're mitigating some of those um, solar ingress where you don't want it. And using some of these internal spaces, which typically are black box type spaces, but providing daylight access so that they can be programmed in different ways. This is the studio theatre, which opens up to outside. So outside. That's the big door that opens out to the amphitheatre. So, yeah. And the foyer too. So these great multiple addresses to, to daylight. Things like daylight and you know views to outside from the back of house spaces like the green room, which typically are down the end of corridors and fairly miserable. So there's real change in the amenity and quality of natural light to those spaces. 